Disclaimer, this video is going to be in CinemaScope, anamorphic widescreen, so don't worry, your computer monitor or TV is just fine because I game captured footage off of my computer monitor, which is a CinemaScope anamorphic widescreen monitor. So enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome to In-Depth Reviews. We do things a little differently around here. Hey Sue, what do we got today? Yes, we have the Lego Jurassic World video game review. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. Okay, our motto is we do things a little differently around here. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan, that's what I mostly do right now, and I'm playing this game as a fan. I'm not like a general video game critiquer that works for some big company and just like, eh, I don't want to have to play this game. I want to play this game. I'm also a huge gamer. I'll just show you my dinosaur games real quick. Trespasser, custom cover. Operation Genesis, cost me a lot of money. Jurassic Park, the game released by Telltale. Not the same as Traveler's Tale, as the developer for this game. Dino Crisis 2. Dino Crisis 1, custom cover. And I don't have a PlayStation anymore, but I had Warpath. I really enjoy Warpath. So those are just my dinosaur games. I have a bunch of other games in my library as well. Now I'm reviewing the PC version. That's what I have. I assume all the platforms are going to look the exact same. And I actually played the very first LEGO video game ever created. LEGO Star Wars in 2005. I believe I had it on PS2. It was pretty much the same game. But I do think in terms of the audio, Traveler's Tales games has changed a lot. One thing the history of evolution has taught us is that life... So let's get into the audio first. ...finds a way. It's incredible. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. Pushing team, move in there. Hey! Step back in. It features cues from the iconic John Williams score, as well as bits and pieces of generic music in between. It's just amazing walking around certain levels and hearing certain cues fire up as you play. It's actually very surreal, but it is sometimes misused. A good example being, I was playing the Rex Paddock attack of the first film, and I noticed them using cues from when the Raptors attacked in the third act of the film instead. So I found that a bit odd and out of place. There's not much Williams Davis music in the second and third movie games, but at least the dinosaur sounds are completely awesome. They are the easiest to replicate because their sound base is so accessible, and they don't need permission from actors to sign royalty checks off of. So they're almost 100% movie accurate. Sometimes Traveler's Tales did have to use new or generic grunts for trikes and whatnot. What really blew me away was the voice acting. You have the talents of almost everyone even their moans and groans when playing accurate depictions exclude i have to get my list for this one nedry ray arnold jerry harding eddie carr roland ludlow billy brennan amanda and eric kirby even though amanda's is very very accurate and all three mercenaries there are all new voiceover recordings from everyone in jurassic world i got my license okay now show me my new dinosaur. But people are hardcore complaining about the voice acting in the first three movie games being awful because they ripped audio from the actual films. Don't listen to them. Some voiceovers are a bit hollow sounding, but other than that, it's fine. It's not a big deal. How else would Traveler's Tales games get everyone back in the studio to re-record their lines? It's impossible, especially when some of the guys have passed away. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. It's truly incredible, it? reliving the best moments of my childhood in interactive form. As a fan, I really, really enjoyed it. It's an alternate take on the Jurassic Park universe. I'll get into that more later. We all know the quotes like the back of our hand, and it's great to see them stretch out the monologues when we're playing. You want your answer? Yeah, it's good shape too. Six inch retractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Dr. Grant, Dr. Ellie, we're ready to try again. I hate computers. Feelings mutual. 
It just brings a smile to your face. It makes me want to buy a Udesky or Ray Arnold minifig. Fences are failing all over the park. Security systems are shutting down. Phones are out too. Access main program grid. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't say the magic word. Please. But Lego hasn't released anything from the first three films. Well, first two. The third one you need to re-release. It's kind of garbage. Lego, please remake a Jurassic Park 1, 2, and 3 line. This video game is so incredible and everything you touch turns to gold. But if you play one Lego video game, you play them all. It's the same old tried and true system of going around, collecting sprawled out Lego coins for XP, smashing Lego objects to destroy and pick up more coins, as well as switch characters for certain areas of the game to build stuff to progress to the next step. This formula is present in the Lego video game I demoed, as well as the very first Lego video game ever created in 2005, Lego Star Wars. It's fun at least to the start. Running around and picking up every coin can get tedious and frustrating at times. It would be a lot easier to play with two players to collect them all, which is what I recommend you doing if you can. If you have a second person, you would also have to constantly switch characters for whatever mini puzzle that demands a certain character's specialty to solve. Puzzles should be easy for older kids. Younger kids may have trouble, so have a parent by to help you out. Heck, I was even stuck a couple of times. When I looked around, I noticed it overlooked a progression trigger in the game, like picking up a truck with the crane for the Indominus Ankylosaurus fight. Overall, the gameplay is best in the first film and the remainder of the game when they have fight for survival mini games. Running away from dinosaurs is pretty much what that means, but there's also other mini games and chapters as well. My favorite, hands down, has to be the Lost World trailer sequence. We are Malcolm, and we climb up the rope as we jump back and forth between Eddie trying to pull the trailer back off the cliff with his car. Such an underrated and awesome sequence in the film that's amazingly replicated in the game. Sure as heck beats running around breaking Lego trees for hours. And last but not least, there are some cool moments that make you jump from your seat, which mostly involve raptors surprise attacking you. So little children beware. The humor, just like in all the LEGO games, is absolutely hilarious. I cannot stop giggling at some of the jokes and gags the writers have in there. And it's just like the LEGO movie, where it's suitable for all ages. Kids to adults will be laughing at the game's cutscenes, at least in the first film. The laughs kind of died down for me in The Lost World of Jurassic Park 3. It gets a little too campy at times. Raptors playing cards is eh, not that funny to me. Speaking of cutscenes, I love the alternate takes and views they have on the classic movie moments of the franchise. You get to see how things play off differently as most of the shots aren't replicated directly wise and some of the audio is flipped around. This isn't your territory yet. Don't forget, you work for me. It's sometimes cut short, sadly. If anything, that's the problem. I want extended scenes. I want more. But the main reason why this game kicks so much butt is that alternate take on the universe. They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. Ian, freeze! Get the kids! Get rid of the flare! After you see the Brachiosaur for the first time, you get out of the Jeep. You're free to roam the countryside. You see the sauropod stomping, you can get out. You can walk the grass around it, picking up coins and breaking little bushes for XP. Most of the areas we get to explore are on the basis of the original films, but we didn't get the chance to explore them more on screen. No lie, some of these areas are straight out of my dreams. Driving on the road from the helipad to the Brachiosaur paddock, walking outside the visitor center and strolling around the pond in front, among many others. This game is just brilliant. Hey, what that touch? Uh, 
We didn't touch anything, we stopped. Speaking of visual aesthetics, let me talk about graphics. Lego video games are never going to get to crisis levels, but the graphics in this game look pretty darn nice. The landscapes are very beautiful, especially for a Lego game. Not all trees and objects are Lego-esque in nature, but feature some lifelike textures. Grass is grass, it's not just Lego grass. The only Lego looking objects are the breakable pieces you can gain coins from and are easily distinguishable to tell between the actual island and the Lego pieces you break. The dinosaurs in the game are the exact same pieces that are available for purchase in the Jurassic World sets released this year. They even include figures from the Lego Dino line from like 2010. They pulled that Triceratops from that catalog because there is no Jurassic World Triceratops available for purchase this year. They even created dinos that aren't Legos yet, like the Pachycephalosaurus and the Spinosaurus. You know, an actually accurate looking Spinosaurus. Once again, I hope Lego makes new JP sets. That would be fantastic. Some of the dinos did irk me, however. The raptors are only screen accurate in Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. They reuse the same raptors in the Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 from Jurassic Park. They even got lazy and used blue from Jurassic World in Jurassic Park 3. That's a mistake even kids will notice. If I have one gripe with the game, it's the save system. It sucks. Granted, I was currently playing Mass Effect before I bought the LEGO Jurassic World game. In Mass Effect, I can save any point of the game that's not in combat at any time in the menu system. In LEGO Jurassic World, I have to wait by two or three chapters, find a save kiosk, then save the game. It's a pain in the butt. The biggest problem with that is that they're spread out those two or three chapters and it's hard to find one. If you die and you don't come back or you exit out like I do sometimes, sometimes I gotta go to somewhere and I gotta quit gaming. And with LEGO Jurassic World, I've lost progress two or three times. Here's an example I'm definitely taking points off the final score for. I was playing the Indominus Rex paddock scene with Owen. The fat dude supervisor glitched out, so I rebooted. I was okay because I previously saved at the save kiosk at the start of the scene. After restarting the game, I go back into the Jurassic World section and my game didn't save at the kiosk. I had to start the game all over again. I was very mad. One last thing that made me mad was sometimes dinosaurs would attack the person you're playing and completely ignore the other squad members that you have. About 90% of the time, your computer teammates will not help you out. They'll just stare at you being eaten alive by copies. So I know what you're thinking. How's the replayability of the game? I would say just about right. If you're a huge fan, reliving certain moments of the franchise is more than enough to warrant purchase. You can go around after you beat the game and click any chapter and any film to start off with a redo. And after you beat story mode completely, you can roam around in free play and try to 100% complete the game. Some areas are locked and need unlocking for certain characters that have certain perks to achieve more bonuses like a gold brick or a trapped employee to get more XP. If you need Lex to throw a baseball to get a gold Lego brick, you can choose Lex in your inventory and get the perk. But to truly unlock everyone, you have to find them on either of the two islands walking around and buy them with your Lego coin XP. Kind of a hassle, but it's a way to spend more time with the game. Heck, you can even purchase Carlos. You remember Carlos from the Lost World? Carlos! Carlos, come in! Oh, you, you bastard, come in! And even InGen Harbor Master. Skipper SS Venture, this is InGen Harbor Master. Do you copy over? One last thing. It's sad. Going through the LEGO Jurassic World gate in the game's menu is a better moment than going through the gates in the actual Jurassic World film. But that's how much LEGO kicks butt. Their toys blow Hasbro's laziness out of the water. And their video games, time and time again, prove how awesome of a company LEGO really is. They really are the gold standard for toys and games, and the mecca of adult, let alone children, entertainment.
So what am I going to give the LEGO Jurassic World game out of 10? It's nowhere near a perfect score, but I enjoyed this game. I think it has a decent replayability, and I'm going to give LEGO Jurassic World an 8 out of 10. So if you already haven't purchased this game and you're a huge fan, pick it up. If you have like a teenager or you are a teenager that really doesn't like dinosaurs, you're probably not going to enjoy this game. Or if you didn't enjoy Jurassic World as a movie. And if you're a casual gamer, I think you're going to like it. Or if you liked any of the other LEGO video games, you're going to like this one too. It's very kid safe, so I can recommend it to them. So once again, thanks for watching. It's been another in-depth review. Don't forget to check out more videos. I did the Stop and Strike T-Rex. and probably one of the first ones on YouTube to do that. I'll put a link right here. We're also doing a Bash Your Biter T-Rex giveaway. Can you tell I like T-Rexes? So check out that video as well and a bunch of other stuff. But thank you very much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, click the subscribe button down below so you can stay tuned to all the stuff that's coming, mostly Jurassic Park. So thanks again once for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Rawr, rawr.